He's here. <laughs> Henry Atkinson. And he is the person who Mount Atkinson is named after. I made him a cloak to acknowledge his gift to the people of Auckland. But he's, he's not on the mountain anymore. He's down in front of Lockdoll House. So I put together an event in which some weavers and some of the adults around here came and learned how to make Bax food baskets and mats, and then we taught it to the children of room 16 to Tarangi Primary School. And we started down here and we did a little hikoi to the top of the mountain and we had a feast up there. All of the record of that feast is here in this book. And it's called Hakari on Henry's Hill. And that doesn't mean Henry Atkinson, it means the people who lived there before Henry Atkinson owned it. It was the Hugh Henry. So it's, that's another name that's belonged to that mountain, but really it's Tuturangi, that's its old name. So we celebrate it, all its layers of history and naming. Kate made a special basket for the Hebe Speciosa, which is another meaning of Tuturangi. Tuturangi is the name of that Hebe and could have been named after it, according to some of the early place name books. So we put that up on the empty plant, the Hebe Speciosa. When it's in flower, it has a bright red flower. It would have been visible from quite a distance. And so if it was called Te Ara Te Tarangi, you have to imagine walking through a pathway of red flowers. John Geddes came down and did a big salute to Henry Atkinson. Mm -hmm. The kids thought he was fantastic. I've taken the cloak from the man and made another work called Mantle for a Small Maunga. So it really is to try and restore some of that mana back to that mountain, which people have forgotten, because it carries a lot in its original name. And that up there is the fringe of heaven, which is what all the locals say Tithrangi means. <laughs>